You've probably heard the saying before, it's all about the little things. And even in God, it's all about the little things. You've probably heard about the story of David, right? You know David was a shepherd boy and he later became king. He killed Goliath and all of that stuff. But, you know, I want to bring you back to a little aspect of David's story even before he met Goliath. David was sent by his father, Jesse, to the war front to take 10 bread and 10 cheese to his brothers, right? I really want to focus about how David carried this task out. Because it's all about the little things. The Bible said David told, uh, Jesse told David to take 10 bread and 10 cheese to deliver to his brothers. And the Bible says that morning, David woke up early. Because he was also a shepherd, the Bible said he took the few sheep that he takes care of and gave it to one of the people who look after sheep because he was going to be away. And so here's David going to the, to the battlefront to go deliver the bread and stuff, right? And the Bible says, you know, he got into a little discussion with his brothers and the eldest brother, Eliab, you know, tried to accuse him that he was only there just to look at the battle and he knows the pride of his heart. And, and this is why I like David, right? David did not get mad. David, David did not get petty about it. David didn't go, you know what? Screw you. You know, I'm bringing cheese and bread for you. And all you can do in return is accuse me of stuff. And in the middle of that conversation, that's when Goliath showed up out of nowhere and was chanting. It was the 40th day of his chance. And the Bible said, as soon as David got to that front, David heard Goliath's chance. It was almost as if it was planned because as soon as David got there, that was when Goliath was coming out. The Bible called him the champion of Gath. And he was, you know, threatening the children of Israel to bring out a worthy opponent to fight with him. And David heard it. The Bible said David heard him. But if you t take it back a little bit, and why is this all about the little things? If David did not wake up early, he would have missed Goliath's chance. If David did not take out time the day before to even find someone to take care of the little sheep, Pay attention to the details, right? He would have missed that opportunity. So at the end of the day, it wasn't really about going to the war front or taking down Goliath. It was about the heart of a servant and the things that happened before David got to that war front. And those are the battles that so many times we miss, right? You talk about punctuality. You talk about stewardship. Caring for little sheep, right? Because he was going to be absent. And that was the heart. That's why the Bible said David was a man after God's own heart. And so we like to really focus on David killing Goliath, right? But it was really David's heart and David's character that even got him that job opportunity to take down Goliath. There's a scripture in Luke 16, 10 to 12 that says, If you're not faithful in the least things, you're not going to be faithful with much. And if you don't take care of what's another man's, who's going to give you what's your own? And so usually we expect more, right? But God really is watching how you handle less. God is saying, how are you dealing with those few employees you have? You say you need more employees. How are you dealing with the few you have? You want a bigger house. How are you dealing with your one-bedroom apartment? Are you keeping it clean? You say you want a bigger car. How are you treating the one car you have? The Bible says if you're not faithful with what's little, you're not going to be faithful with much. And because David took seriously such a small task of delivering bread and cheese to the people at war, he was not even in the army, yet he was the one who took down Goliath. Yet, that was his training because of that heart, because of just that character and that young man, he became king of Israel. Because it's always about the little things.